So, welcome. We are finally going to mod the game. You can go to PrettyColor.com, click on Tutorials and then click on Oblivion. But there you will probably end up here to a link to the Bevilex mod list because that's the mod list we're going to use for this tutorial. The thing is, if you do not have a, uh, a legal copy of Oblivion, you can buy them a website for only $9.50. It includes all DLC, so it's a Gatti, uh, Gatti edition, and you can buy Steam key. Uh, and at this moment, when you are now going to decide, I have an automated delivery system, so I should not need to send you a key manually. You will get it immediately once you buy it. Also, if you're still using a uh, unofficial copy of Windows 10, uh, but now might also be a good time to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro, the retail version, you can also buy it at my website, $12.50. So that might be a good foundation and a good start before you're going to mod. So anyway, en enough of my advertisement. The real stuff starts with the following. What we will see in the Bevelex mod guide, we have all these sections. The recommended system specs, we talked about that before. Um, and now it is time to actually do some preparations. If you currently have Oblivion modded, I always do recommend that you start completely clean and the way how to do that is by if you're using any mods um, right now it is a good time to uninstall them all of these mods because you want to have a clean version and at the end we also want to make sure we have uh, a clean game so if you're using a mod manager like Oblivion Mod Manager or Rybash in my case here as well now feel free to delete all of the mods so that's what i'm going to do that's uh not always a pleasant side but i have to press the delete button and all of my mods are gone same applies to all the esp files so they're all gone okay the master files cannot be deleted because the mods are probably all deleted so that was it for all of my mods then you want to go to your steam library where you have installed your oblivion and you want to go to the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Let's see, where is that game? Search for Oblivion. Here it is. Then you can right click on it. And let's see, for some reason, this is the new Steam library. Okay. Um, we need to uninstall it somewhere. Let's see, how does it work with a new library? I just want to manage uninstall. Thank you very much. So uninstall the game. And now there are a couple of things we need to do before we have a fully, fully um, uninstall Oblivion. That's by going to the uh, to the library of Steam where you have installed all of your Steam games and go to Steam Apps Common. And here you will have all your installed games. In my case, I'm going to delete everything here and you should do that as well. And then there's also one folder. It's called um, My Documents. There's a folder in there, my games, and there's Oblivion. Um, and there are some files in there as well. So delete that as well. I already did do that, so I'm going to show you that. So go to my documents, my games, um, and there delete Oblivion folder. So let's see, I do have this Oblivion mods and that's for Rybash, but I can also uninstall that. Great, so that would mean that Rybash probably is deleted right now. Yes, okay, awesome, then I can delete it. So after you've done that, we now have a good stable foundation to finally start all of the mudding. I know it can be quite a pain if you have a very slow internet connection, but I honestly think this is the way to do it properly. And the reason for that is that you uh, need to reinstall Oblivion now, because now we will continue, like I said, with the actual mudding. That's by going to your Steam library again, right click on Oblivion and click on install. Under here, you can. Um, there, um, what I strongly suggest is you do not install it under C program files 86 because it might give some issues with mods or certain plugins. So, what I do suggest is you create a folder somewhere else, doesn't really matter. In my example, I just created a games library and I did choose to install my Steam as well under games. And for that, it uh, I, I do avoid Program Files 86. So again, make sure to not install it in Program Files 86. If you do have the standard Program Files 86 here, you can click this drop-down menu and create a new Steam library. All right, then click on Next, of course, and wait until it finishes uh, installing. All right, once that finished downloading, let's go back to the Bevilex uh, page and let's see what we need to do because 
the first parts are always a little bit boring, but unfortunately we need to do that. And uh, the first thing we need to do is start the game at least once so that I believe you can generate some ini files. So you want to go to your Steam library, you want to click on play and for the first time the launcher will come up. Press OK. Uh, let's see, click on options. And we need to set a couple of uh, settings here. So adapter, resolution, AA, none. Modes, screen effects, HDR. Okay. So select HDR, select all this distance stuff, select ultra high, select your resolution. In my case, that's 25, 40, uh, 2560 by 4040 because I'm using a 4040p monitor. Press OK. And what you want to do now is click on play so that the game can start um, at, and you will generate the ini file. So do that now and then I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, once you've done that, go back because now we need to install and download and install a couple of tools uh, for the modding process. So let's jump right in. The first thing we need to have is Rybash. That's our mod manager. Uh, we're going to use for everything, so that's great. Open it up in a new tab and let's see. What you want to download is the installer. Let me double check if it has the standalone one or not. And let's see programs. Um, I do have the installer, so that's what you want to have. Installer beta. Make sure you download that one, the beta for installer. And uh, a couple of things you might want to do first for an intro, um, for a proper preparation. That's creating a folder somewhere where you will uh, download all the mods. The thing is, Rybash will also just copy all of the mods again. So make sure you do this at a place where you have enough disk space. Um, I recommend you do that at the same drive where you will install Rybash or at a very fast drive because the installation process else might take quite long. So I just put this folder on my desktop, uh, really simple, and it's about 17 gigs eventually all the mods, so make sure you have that space. And um, yeah, you might want to think about doubles, double up the size which you might need because Rybash again will copy the mods to its own folder and for that you will have at least 34 gigs of mods and files. So what I did uh, with this created folder, as you can see, I created all these um, these categories of mods which we're going to use and I number all of my mods because it's more easier to add mods uh, during the modding process and also if your computer might crash at a certain point, you have all the mods in the correct order and it's a lot more easier to you know, install them all, all over again. So that's what you want to do first, create a folder somewhere where you will download all of the mods. Then what you want to do is create a shortcut to your LS Scrolls for Oblivion game folder. And you will find that in your Steam library, Steam apps, common Oblivion. That's can make sure you create a shortcut to there as well. The last thing you want to create a shortcut to is a location somewhere where we will install uh, modding tools. Um, and in this case, that's I, what I did. I picked C programs and mod tools, but it's up to you. You can install it anywhere you like. So create a shortcut or, and create those folders, like I said. And then uh, let's see, after we did download Rybash, let's see if Bevelex, um, Bevelex does recommend anything to do because else we will just going to start installing Rybash. Okay, I would say let's just do that first. So. Then let's see, we're going to our downloaded mods. So that's Rybash. And you want to extract that folder like I've done here and then you will find this installer file. Run it as admin, I think that's the safest. And click next. All right, um, let's see, I want the, let's see if he says something about the Python version or not. So da -da -da -da. let's see, Rybash, I think so. Okay, that's all right. Just do it like that. So, and we want to only do this for Oblivion, so not for uh, Skyrim Special Edition. So that will be it, I think, so far. Click Next, and uh, it seems that Rybash will be installed in the Oblivion game main game folder itself. Uh, to be honest, it's been quite a while since I did do this because, um, yeah, it's been at least half a year, so that's why I sometimes have to check again how things need to be done. Let's see, select extra location we'd like to install now. That's okay. That's all right. And then let's wait to wire best starts up and then we can please select which you would like to run right now okay we want to run the oblivion one right now 
And I think we will get a pop-up form first. Let's see, install it, yeah. Okay, so this is what you will get now. Do you want to enable the installers? If you do, Bash will first need to initialize some data. Um, yes, we want that. All right. I want you did do that. It could also be that you get a question if you would like to move. Um, I think we're going to get it once we first will add our first mod. So we'll come to that later. Don't don't worry about it yet. All right. So let's see. I think uh, Rybash is still loading something. Oh no, it's not okay. All right. Then the next mod which we want is not Oblivion Mod Manager. That's not needed anymore. Um, we want Oblivion Script Extender. So open that up as well. Click on files and download this main stable version. Let me double check that for you guys, just to be sure. So that will be not Oblivion Map Manager, that's not needed. Oblivion Script Extender, you can extract that package as well. So do that right now. And let's see, let me quickly go to Steam, set myself offline before people might talk to me during the tutorial. I don't think that's really Ideal. So programs, Oblivion Script Extender. There are two DLL files, if I'm not mistaken, which we need. Let's see, we need to have the uh, this one, the UPC, the DLL. Three files is a good thing uh, I check. So the three DLL files. One, two, three. So what you want to do is copy these three files. So let me triple check it again. The first DLL, this is the steam loader second one uh, and the editor is the third one all right i thought we needed the loader but it appears not okay great um all right then what you want to do is you're going to go to your oblivion main game folder and you want to paste the dll files in there so that was it for oblivion script extender here it says you can check the how if it works but we will check it out later because certain mods require oblivion script extender anyway so we're good the next one is bus uh, i do definitely recommend it because um despite for skyrim script extender where we don't use any mod uh, our load fixer load order fixer we definitely need it for oblivion because the plugin sometimes can be installed pretty weird so what you want to do is download bus, download it on GitHub, and then you will have probably something like, let me check. Here is bus, bus installer. Um, oh, right click on it, extract it. And let's see, it comes with an installer. Press okay for the installation. And again, what I do recommend is installing it somewhere. Um, a folder where you can, uh, the, in this case, the folder which you did create for the program. So I'm going for programs mod tools because, uh, yeah, that's what the one I did create. But it's up to you. Where it doesn't really matter where you install it. But again, please don't install it in C program files 86. All right. So click install and click next. And this is all good. All right, so what you want to do now is we want to make sure that uh, the shortcut to bus is added into our Rybash. And how to do that um, is by doing the following. You want to go to your mod tools uh, folder where you have installed your bus. Then you want to create a shortcut of the bus that exe, name it also bus. All right, and then you want to cut that shortcut out of here. And then what you want to do is go to your Oblivion main game folder, go to this folder Mopi, which should be here after we did install Rybash. And then you will find this folder apps and you want to paste a shortcut in here. Then close Rybash. And then let's start it again. Um, let me create a shortcut to, uh, no, I can do that right now. If I go to um, bup, 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 the Oblivion main game folder Mopi, I think Rybash should be here. Yeah, looks like it. So let's see if it is Rybash. Yes, it is. Okay, awesome. As you can see here, now we have boss. We actually have it twice. I'm not sure why that is, um, but at least it's here. So what you want to do is you want to create a shortcut to Rybash as well, because we can now place that on our desktop. All right, and let's paste it in here. Cool, so now we have Rybash and we now have the Oblivion icon. Um, let's see, what else do we need to do first in this introduction part? Test for edit is not needed right now. Um, 
to be honest, I didn't use it uh, for the entire modding process of Oblivion. You can do it, of course, to clean your uh, plugins and all that stuff. But a good thing to read now is uh, this is how we need to install mods from now on. When we are going to install mods, we need to uh, drag and drop them into the installers tab. Let me open Rybatch again. Here it is. What we need to do now is we need to, uh, once we're, if we're going to install a mod, we need to drag and drop it into our installers tab, right click on it and install the mod. Then if, we, if it contains a plugin, you will see it here. Uh, we need to then, let's see, I think, um, but, 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 check the ESP in the mods tab. Yes, so if there's an ESP installed, we need to make sure we activate the ESPs. Um, then we need to run bus to sort the load order. So that's a good thing we did install it. We can just simply click on bus and bus will then sort the correct load order for us. And then we need to rebuild our bashed patch. And it's important is do not reactivate the ESB. We have been activated because uh, bashed patch makes a compilation uh, in, in its entire bashed patch of these mods, which it will deactivate. So we will see that once we're going to install mods. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anything else? Removing placing is safe free. Okay. Okay, for the rest, it should be okay so far. So that was the end of part one. Uh, in the next part, we are going to install finally a mod. So now we have a clear foundation and now we are able to mod. So see you guys in the next part.